Welcome to the Building Newfoundland and Labrador podcast, dedicated to exploring the interesting journeys of the people in the provincial construction industry. Presented by the Newfoundland and Labrador Construction Association, produced by Gale Force Winds. Join us as we chat with the inspirational individuals that ensure the continued growth of the construction industry and the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. And we are back at the Building Newfoundland and Labrador podcast. What a great day it has been. Into the evening now. It's wonderful to be in conversation. I'm Alan Dale. With me as always, my good buddy, Jerry Carew. Jerry, what a time we're having. Are you enjoying yourself? Oh my God, we're getting, like the number of conversations we've had. Matt, we're going to get into it with you in a minute. But, you know, this day has been a lengthy one. Um, you're going to be our last person for the day, but we saved the best for last, I think. What do you think, Al? I don't know if Matt's going to be our last or not, but I'm certainly looking forward to hearing from you. Matt, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Well, I'm Matt Tucker with Tucker Solutions. Uh, a lot of people will recognize us as Tucker Electronics. We've recently rebranded. We've done a lot more than electronics in the last few years. So uh, I'm a third generation uh, of the business. My grandfather started the business. Uh, my father's still involved. We're very much a team effort. Um, but you know, mainly what we do is uh, pro audio visual for office spaces and, uh, and buildings and digital signs, things along those lines. And uh, with the Construction Association, we do a lot of our window film division. So we're the 3M dealer for window films from Newfoundland and Labrador. Do frosting, solar films, security films, and uh, yeah, you know, we're, we're up to a lot. So we, we try to showcase as much as we can at our booth, right? Right, and you're exhibiting here, Matt? We are exhibiting, yeah, yeah. So yeah. people, if they need to see what you got, it's right in here? 100%. It's right there. Yeah, yeah it's right there. <laughs> Can't we see were, it on camera, but yeah. they're right there. You know, my colleague Jerry Hall is at the booth, yeah. the man that while I'm gone, and uh, we, we do so much, we tried to, it's only a small yeah. table, right? Yeah. You can't fit that much no. on it, so. Yeah. So, uh, Matt, what was your journey to get there? Like, what did you do before Tucker Solutions came in your life? I know it's a family business, but... Yeah, so I guess the uh, the biggest joke that I like to uh, to say that my father did such a good job in molding me that I still think it was my own choice to do this for a living. Right? <laughs> I think it was free will. So, uh, to be truthful with you, I was... Uh, it feels like I was born in the office. Right. I grew up around there. I was involved in electronics. And initially, I wanted to go do some aviation. Go uh, out to Gander, do the program. Uh, specialized in electronics, but uh, just before I had moved, I was accepted, ready to go. My father said, why don't you try the family business, right? Why don't you come work on the electronics? So I did industry-specific training with them. Uh, became the youngest in North America, actually, to get certified with certain manufacturers at 15. And uh, yeah, so I've been at it my whole life, right? Wow. On the books, I've been at it almost 15 years, but I feel like I've been at it 30. So. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so tell us about some of the innovative and unique products that you offer. Yeah. So uh, again, we've been doing video conferencing before it was cool. So the pandemic really brought <laughs> video conferencing to the forefront and uh, it's become standard everywhere. So the main bread and butter of our business is meeting rooms, conference rooms, and especially since the pandemic, huddle rooms. So small tables like this, three people you want to present, you want to share, you want to have your uh, video conference. That's exactly what I do. What'd you call it? Uh, video conferencing in a huddle room. Huddle room. Yeah, so huddle, huddle rooms have become this, uh, this buzzword since the pandemic. So yeah. the days of the 40 person conference room are kind of going by the wayside. You'll, you see like 10, 15 years ago, it was all about the big conference room. And now instead of one conference room, we see a lot of customers doing 10, 15 of these small huddle rooms. And they're a lot more effective, right? And especially where they had to uh, think about distance and managing distance with the pandemic, it really came into effect. You can't have that many people, right? Right. So we're showcasing a product today called Barco ClickShare, which uh, lets you wirelessly present from your laptop to the screen, no cables. This is the way of the future. You can prevent, uh, present from your phone, your laptop, and uh, actually do a video conference that way. So right. That's just the tip of the iceberg, but that's, you know. Yeah. That's, so that's, that's the video cool. side. The audio yeah. side? Yeah. What are some of your products there? Yeah. So the audio side, we can do uh, background audio. We do um, restaurants. We, do, we don't do live sound anymore. We, we, we did, but we kind of got out of that business. Right. But uh, the, you know, audio is probably the most important aspect of a meeting. So if you're in a conference call and you're trying to join a Teams call or a Zoom call, uh, you can have a conference call without video. Right? Doesn't matter if your camera gigs out. Right. Doesn't matter. Can't do it that. But if there's bad audio, you're yeah. done. Tell right? tell us about it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're a podcast, but a video podcast. But the audio yeah. got to be there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's the most important part. Right. As there's, I'm, I'm thinking of, as you're talking. Yeah. There's so much noise here, and I'm yeah. like, 
I hope we get good audio. Oh, well, we're going to get show, great man. audio. And you know, it's funny that you mentioned that. That audio is king for sure. Yeah. Uh, Jerry and I do a lot of podcasting on trade show floors. Yeah. A lot of noise around us. Yeah. But uh, when we look at the recording, it's amazing what these little microphones pick up. Shore product. You carry Shore, yeah. One hundred percent. So in the in the pro audio visual world, Shore has really initialized themselves and set themselves up to be the number one uh, audio manufacturer. Right. So in a standard meeting room, we would use Shore ceiling microphone arrays. We would complement them sometimes with the lapels like you have, yeah. right. handheld mics. They're really, they really are the king. Yeah. Now, Matt, you've been a part of the Newfoundland and Labrador Construction Association for quite uh, a number of years. Tell me a little bit about what the membership there means to you. Absolutely. So, we like to take pride in being Newfoundlanders, right? We're Canadians, but we're Newfoundlanders first. And uh, the Newfoundland Labrador Construction Association fits in with well with us. We get to get plugged into the local construction scene. We are the only, the only locally owned uh, pro audiovisual integrator in the island, or on the island, sorry. So to get plugged in with the local reps from all these construction companies, you really get the opportunities that you wouldn't get elsewhere. Like, right. you know, you get these the access to the tenders, you get to make the relationships here, and that's kind of what our, our theme at our booth is, you know, audiovisual is a little different than construction. I'm sure I'm a different guest than you've had today. But what we're after is that build that relationship. When the client brings it up, we'd like to be that name to support you. Right? right? As Newfoundlanders helping Newfoundlanders, really. Yeah. Right? And, and that's the way it works. And all the work is done in Newfoundland by Newfoundlanders. 100%. Yeah. 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 It's a win-win, right? It yeah. is a win-win. Yeah, the money is staying in the economy, growing together, right? Yeah. Yeah, and that's very important to us, and they have a lot of access to training that we wouldn't get otherwise, and we really utilize that. It's a heavy aspect, right? Um, we work with Ron and Adele and everybody at the, yeah. at the NLCA, and uh, no, they, they do a lot for us, and, and we're very grateful. Now, the association itself and the members largely seems like a very collaborative group of people, yeah. all interested in working well together. Would you, would you agree with that? 100%, yeah. yeah. And that's that's a huge draw to this is, again, just that networking with everybody local and understanding that it's not it's not businesses competing with each other. It's a, it's a, it's a network, right? Yeah. We're all after the same goal. We want to provide quality solutions to the customers, do it effectively, and, and work together. Yeah. yeah. So we got a couple of days ahead of us here. What are you most excited about? I don't know. I think all of it. You know, yeah. there's a there's a good band playing tomorrow evening. I'm excited for the sessions tomorrow. Right. A lot of great speakers like the CCA. A lot of those members are here. Um, and then of course the gala. Yeah. Right. So it's a good opportunity for us to present our products. Yeah. Um, and it's a great opportunity just to see faces we haven't seen in a long time. Go well, Jerry. Well, you know what. Matt, it's, it's brilliant of you guys to be here. I mean, Alan and I are building our own business in the podcast world, and I'll be frank, I wasn't thinking about you guys prior to this conversation, but I assure you, for all the different demands we have on our podcast network, we are thinking about you now. So it is very strategic of you to be here. I'll add this, Pat, I, I find as I get older, I start to meet, you know, the young people of the fathers that I used to deal with in the advertising world. Yeah. You sit before me and I know that I've met your grandfather. Yeah, so absolutely. does that make me a, a little bit older now? I think it's a perfect way to end this podcast. <laughs> Jerry, just, I mean, that's unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. 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 yeah, no, it's great. It's an honor to, uh, yeah. to be on the podcast. I really appreciate it and uh, look forward to the next few days. Matt, it's been great to be in conversation with you. Thank you uh, for being here and uh, sharing your thoughts with us. Thank you for what you're doing for the Construction Association and the audiovisual world of Newfoundland. Uh, we certainly appreciate that. And I will echo what Jerry said. There's no doubt in my mind that our two companies will do business together uh, very soon because we have many of the needs that you can provide us and we want to buy in Newfoundland, so. Absolutely, right. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Good. Cheers. Thank you for tuning in to the Building Newfoundland and Labrador podcast, presented by the Newfoundland and Labrador Construction Association, produced by Gale Force Winds.